Morning guys. It's about 4.30 a.m. Uh, gotta do a couple things here before we get started. It's gonna rain out today. Well, it already started, but it's supposed to be raining all day. So we gotta get vehicles moved around. I gotta get Abel pulled into the garage just a little bit so I, I'm not trying to fight rain while I'm welding and whatnot. Uh, then I got to get the ladders off the sides, get those in so those start drying out. And uh, then we're going to start working on the brush guard. Are, have any of you ever read a biography or autobiography of uh, Nikola Tesla? One of the things that always happened to him was he would have problems in his experiments and he would uh, go to sleep. And either in his dreams or he just lay there awake, he'd figure out solutions to the problems because he had a chance to think it through. I'm not Nikola Tesla, but that happens to me a lot. And I think I came up with a really cool idea for the brush guard on the front that you guys are going to like. So once again, this is just going to be a huge time lapse video. So you can kind of see what I'm doing to get this taken care of. And uh, a little bit of narration. But just sit back, relax, enjoy. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it.
hard as hell to get uh, nuts on the other side of bolts without somebody else around, but that's a good start. Let's see what other trouble I could get myself into.
starting to look like something, I guess. I hate coping uh, for the welds. This last one was brutal. I burnt up two hole saws, two pilot bits, and a freaking drill motor. <laughs> the drill motor started smoking. I, I don't know if you saw it in the time lapse, but that's ridiculous. It is pouring out. And I gotta try to get this welded onto that. So this ought to be entertaining. Gaining some ground here. All I got left to do is some 90s at the top and tie it into the roof rack. Got to bend a couple 90s, cut the fit, make these doohickeys up, and uh, man, that's looking awesome. Look at that, that's crazy. I dreamt this up last night while I was sleeping or rolling around awake, one of the two. <laughs> All right, I gotta keep going. everything done that I wanted to it's a little bit afternoon this turned out way better than I thought it would 
I still got to take everything down and bring it into the garage and clean up some of the welds because it, it's raining out and I got pretty spattery on a couple of them, even with uh, torching the uh, pieces before I welded. But yeah, ha <laughs> ha, this is going to be so awesome. I guarantee you that nobody out there has this design. I'm the only one. All right, let's get started on a cleanup. all swept out now I got to come up with a clever way to get all this stuff off here and in the garage by myself by myself blu-ray wants to help but he's just a bird so he can't help so let's get that started that down wasn't too bad uh, I struggled a little bit but no more than expected I got it down the same way I, I pulled it up to the rooftop worked out pretty good so tomorrow I'll be going over these welds touching them up uh, doing a little bit of grinding and wire wheeling and then we're gonna prep yes blu-ray I know you're there then we're gonna prep for paint and get these babies painted tomorrow so they'll be in here tonight drying off. I already got this one drying off pretty good. Tomorrow I'm gonna fire up the Dragon's Breath, get this garage up to about 120 degrees, and uh, that paint will stick like glue. And then uh, tentatively planning, 
Sunday we'll uh, reinstall all this stuff and Abel will be ready to go with all of his roll bars and cages. And I'm just so pleased at how this turned out. I, I mean, for 500 bucks in materials, this is a pretty good deal. And it took me three days to do it by myself. So, other than that, guys, as always, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys next time. See you later. Take care. Bye-bye.